So I know you thinking like, girl, you spent $90 on two cups. I sure did. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. This is going to be probably like the next few days in my life, you know, type vlog. Got my Starbucks coffee. This actually has been sitting in the refrigerator for about an hour now. <laughs> I got it earlier this morning and I hopped in the shower, washed my hair. So that's why it's looking. <laughs> It's looking like this right now. I have a leave-in product in it right now, but I kind of like my hair, especially with what I'm about to do, just like to air dry, and then I'm gonna go in and um, blow dry it in just a few. I'm gonna put my heat protectant as well as um, that wow, like blow dry, whatever it is type spray. I got this early this morning when I went to walk Zane. I just put it in the refrigerator. I was gonna put it in the freezer, but surprisingly it works and the ice is still icing, so. Happy about that. We are about to clean up because the past few days for me, like don't judge, <laughs> but this is real life. The past few days, and it's not even that bad. It's not that bad, like don't get me wrong, but I like to keep my kitchen really, really clean no matter what. And it just looks a mess right now. In the past few days, like I've been on my cycle. It's been really a rough, you know, couple of days. So I just really haven't been able to get to it. We about to get everything back together and wash clothes and things like that because I've been really trying to keep, like I'm really horrible when it comes to laundry and I've been really trying to keep up with it because I know for a fact that I don't want it to get <laughs> like how it was a few weeks ago where I had like loads and loads and loads and loads of clothes. Like I'm not kidding because I just hate doing laundry. So I've been trying to keep up with it because like at least I could do small loads and not just letting it build up. I hate folding so I guess that's the reason why it builds up so because I don't feel like doing it. Before we get into the vlog, um, I have on this set from Lululemon. Let me put y'all down. But I have on this short set from Lululemon. The girls be looking so good. They look so good in their Lululemon. I was just like, let me go ahead and try it. So I went to Lululemon, I think, on Friday. And I got a whole bunch of stuff, spent $600. <laughs> but I also ended up ordering most of the things because like they didn't have it in store. And it finally got here and um, I was able to wear the set. The shorts is what I had to order. And I ordered the shorts in a size USA. First of all, the color looks a little off to me. Like the, sharp, the top looks a little darker than the shorts. But y'all let me know. And I still have the tag on it because I'm still like, I'm trying to figure out like if I want it or not, but I think I'm gonna just end up keeping them. No, I think the color looks good, I don't know. But I think I'm just gonna end up keeping them because like, you know, it's just nice and easy to like go around in the house. And I tried on the US 6 in store and I was like, okay, let me just get in the US 8. So I had to order these. And the US 8 feels really comfortable. And I'm just like at that stage where, first of all, it's <laughs> It's giving <laughs> like a lot right here. But anyway, so I tried on the US 6 in store. You know, the US 6 was good. It really had the body body in, but it was like really a lot in this area. Like, like really camel toe in this area. And I don't really like that. I decided to do the US 8 because I'm just at this big age right now where I just don't feel like wearing like super duper tight clothing. Now the top is in the US 6. I do like the way this like fits on me and i like the color i do think it's a little bit a lot right here i actually have it in three more colors i believe i love this color i did a, like a little TikTok on this you probably can't see but yeah like y'all see this color and also the top like this in this color as well and then i got like this blue and then i got like a blue jacket and like i said this stuff was six hundred dollars which i think is absolutely expensive very insane in my opinion but I wanted to try it. But the girls been saying they be going on Amazon. So if y'all have some Amazon recommendations that's like Lululemon, let your girl know because yeah, I don't think I will be purchasing. I will probably purchase the jacket in that pink color. And I already have like the set. So I will probably purchase it in that pink color. I do think that it's really nice so far, but it's honestly the price. Like I'm not a big person on um, paying that much for these type of items. I don't even work out, which yeah, I want to get into it, yes. But this is more so like to wear around the house. I know this is crazy. I mean, that's why I wanted the shorts to be super comfortable and not too tight on me. Um, because I knew I wanted to wear them around the house. But like, that price is just really ridiculous. Let's go ahead and like start cleaning up. Go ahead and take this off, girl. I'm going to keep it. I like it. How to keep the hair, keep the hair, keep the hair.
cleaning what well, it's not really a clean it's just like a tidying up type of day i kind of deep cleaned a little bit of the kitchen not really um but i'm just really tidying up because like i have let things get out of hand i'm not even gonna show you my beauty room like it's honestly so bad really bad i have a lot of stuff here that i need to um tackle i want to show you my new hermes sandals that i just got comes in the little Hermes box here and you get two dust bags for the shoes so i just got the black ones here because y'all know i have white ones oh my hair looks so crazy yeah i've been wearing the white ones and honestly like they got so dingy because i would like wear the heck out of them and i just needed the black ones i got another pair and honestly i wanted this pair like a few like maybe two months ago but it was not available in my size and when i checked the website they were available again so i was like oh my gosh like i hurried up and got them so i got oh my gosh and summer is almost over but still like i needed these oh come on focus 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 like because this is not the true color hold on gorgeous can y'all see this color hold on it's like so maybe i need to turn the brightness down sorry look at that color you cannot tell me these are not fire i got them in a size 41. i can't remember what this is but i do go up a size in the Hermes sandals they're narrow um and i have really wide feet it does stretch over time um so I'm still trying to break the black ones in. We'll blow dry my hair and then I'll continue to do some laundry and I do have some admin work to do really quick. I wanna upload a picture that I took the other day when I was out shopping and stuff like that. So I'll upload that picture. Oh, I know what I was gonna tell you. With my Hermes purchase, like they just sent over, I didn't even ask for this, but they just sent over a sample of uh, like their natural spray it says here. I don't know, anyway. So now, they knew what they was doing. Girl, I literally, I don't even know if you can see it. I have literally used all of this. Oh my gosh, you can't even see it. I have used all of this. Now I'm about to go purchase this. Like they knew what they were doing. I don't really like this one so much. It's like a really, it's very strong. I'm about to purchase this because I really love the way that it smells and it is long lasting. Usually I don't mess with the samples, okay? Usually I be like, all right, but I had to smell it. I was like, mm, good God. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, let me clean up this room and then I'll get back to y'all soon. All right, y'all. So normally I don't like doing my hair on camera because I'm still working on my hair. So I'll tell you what I use on my hair. This is a very, very old flat iron and it like swivels. This is like my all time favorite. I've had this for so long and I just really hope it never gets out. You know sometimes like the best flat irons be like the old ones, things that are not really popular. I love using this dryer here. It is missing some teeth so I do need another comb, but it's the Kanye 1875 Styler. When I tell you this thing gets like, it dries your hair super quick. Oh yeah, so using this as a heat protectant and then i'm gonna mix it with the tresemme heat tamer um i always love this one like i've been using this one like for years like, now i'm gonna go on with a wow dream coat supernatural spray it is supposed to be like a humidity proofing what is it yeah humidity proofing like spray here i'm going to use the cheese silk infusion this is like an og for me again been using this for years probably like over 10 years now i always like to use the olaplex number seven bonding oil i just wanted to show y'all that just how i keep it up and like to finish off like the hair i'm going to use the olive oil cheese spray with coconut oil this is just an og again since a kid okay since just me days <laughs> Cardiac glasses, I won't even peek at you. Yellow Ferrari, 
perfect but the top needs a little bit of TLC however I will say the pieces right here I don't even know if y'all remember or not but has grown a lot like I'm really impressed I mean we still have some pieces but I'm really impressed with how like much is grown so yeah that's just kind of like how I do my hair wash my hair every like once every two weeks sometimes three weeks I have extensions that I put in them. Um, they are like actually clippings. All right, y'all. So that's the day. Chat a little bit more tomorrow. I'm gonna take Zane out, come back and do some work, figure out dinner. Hey, y'all. So actually, a few days later, I got back home. I had a nail appointment. Um, earlier today, I just picked up a few packages. Beyonce is coming this Wednesday. I'm so excited, as you can tell. I just got my nails done. I love them. I'm like so satisfied, so in love with them. I got it from like an inspo picture, so let me show you the nails. Like, come on. Like, she really ate on these. And these are so different for me. Here's the thumb. I love like just a different style like it just gives like art abstract yeah I'm just kind of like tired I kind of want to like relax I also have a few packages and like I want to like kind of go through I have a package here from summer Fridays okay so this is how it looks a rich cushion cream ultra plump and moisturizer is going to hydrate plump and protect so I think this is cute thank you to summer Fridays next package is like these new balance here I actually purchased these they came out, this is the new 90-60, I think, um, and I got them in white and gray. I hope I can, oh, these are gorgeous as hell. They look big though, hopefully not. Look at these, oh my gosh. These are so gorgeous, I love these. Like the little texture here, I love that. Hey y'all. Wow, it's been such a long time since I picked up the camera. It's actually ridiculous. Let's chat. I feel very weird, even like talking to the camera. You know what I'm saying? Like I just feel like it's like the first time that I'm doing it, like for this setting. I've been very much active, I feel like on Instagram and like TikTok, but just with YouTube, it just takes a lot out of me. I don't know why. Um, so we're just gonna talk. We're gonna chat really quick. I'm gonna catch you guys up on a few things. Sorry if you hear like some noise. I have the uh, washer going and then the dishwasher is also going. So it's probably just a lot of noise right now and I hope that it's not like too much. Last time I spoke with you guys here was, I think I was getting ready for the Beyonce concert and that was I think August 9th. She came to Charlotte August 9th. It is September 2nd. It's probably been a month since I actually picked up this camera. I've been getting so many comments, so many messages, like we miss you on YouTube, where are you at, where's the videos, you know, things like that. And I always like to come to you guys and just be transparent, you know, about like what's going on, how I've been feeling. And I also know that I, like this year, have been so slack on YouTube, like I probably post once a month, um, maybe twice. I know it's been a huge adjustment for me. I can only imagine how it is for y'all, for my supporters, but especially like when y'all used to see me push out videos like at least I would say seven to eight times a month. I know that the people that really really rocks with me like really enjoy those type of videos and for me to just like completely stop you know it's not right. I checked my YouTube studio and the last time I put out a video was like it said like 32 days ago and I was just like oh my god like baby 
and it's September. Like I probably literally have only put out seven videos, no more than 10 videos for the year. Okay, it's a little bit more than what I thought. So I put out 15 videos for the year. But like I said, I'm used to putting out anywhere from seven to 10 videos per month. It's, it still was a huge, huge decrease in like me creating content for YouTube. But I've been pushing out content on Instagram. So there's really no particular reason I would say and I feel like it's always a sticky topic. I remember last time me kind of talking about this or whatnot. A lot of people were like, hmm, it seems like you're going through depression and you just need to talk to somebody about it and so forth and so on. I try to be careful with how I say things and what I say online because I feel like people just kind of take it and run with it. And just because I don't feel like doing this or I'm not like into it anymore or this is what's happening it doesn't necessarily mean that i'm like depressed now i'm not gonna say that i always have like amazing great days because that's definitely not it everybody goes through their shit and some goes through it harder than others um so yeah like that's just that that's life as far as like for me i'm not i'm just gonna be completely honest i have not been feeling like creating content for youtube i am so on this short form content it's quick it's easy it gets the job done you know i'm still getting you know brands to like notice me it is very dreading to create long form content i'm not going to lie and i won't say dreading but sometimes i don't enjoy it sometimes i feel like i'm not living in a moment even when it comes to editing i absolutely hate to edit like a youtube video so that's like definitely the biggest thing like i just haven't been feeling like creating content on youtube i'm just on the quick and easy content route and then like i said i noticed like a lot of brands are focused more on like TikTok or like Instagram. And I haven't really been getting, you know, too many sponsorships on YouTube, but whenever I do get sponsorships on YouTube, like that's when I post. And I just don't think that that's right. Then I feel like it's not authentic. I don't know, that's just how I feel or whatnot. So, sorry y'all, that's the dream. But I'm really trying to do better. On top of that, some days I just really don't be feeling like just creating content. It's nothing really serious. It's just that I haven't been feeling like making content. I did have like a very, you know, traumatic experience that happened like at the beginning of this year kind of like after my birthday which i did like film and i talked about i just never edited the content and i just ended up deleting it long story short two different people hit two of my parents dog like hit them with their car and obviously they're no longer with us anymore because they lost those two dogs within i would say about two months apart which was so crazy and it was just like what is happening you know what i'm trying to say um but they lost those two dogs like within a few months apart the two dogs that were just recently hit like i feel like they have been you know in the home over 10 years in a country area my dad has lots of land but obviously he let them out and you know they do their own thing cars come up and down the road not a highway just to let you know the speed limit on the road that we stay on is probably like i think it's like 15 miles per hour if that so you could just imagine how fast someone has to be going to hit and kill a dog on a 15 miles per hour if that road we did contact like the police or whatnot the police stated that it wasn't nothing that they could do because you have to have a dog like on a leash like on the outside and actually the person who hit the dog can turn around and press charges on you what they said because if the dog damaged their car. Anyway, we just had to bite that and it's nothing that we can do, but anybody knows like losing a pet, pet that you grew up with, whatever the case may be, is very, very hard. Pets are literally an extension of our family. yeah that's that i'm sorry that was long and i'm sorry that i haven't been on youtube i'm going to try and do better especially as we end this year i do apologize for me being so inconsistent on um youtube i do know you guys have been rocking with me for so long and i don't take that for granted i really appreciate you like for real for real um but i just don't want to be on camera if i'm not like my best self but yeah we're just gonna decorate and we're gonna also decorate my room i don't have too much when it comes to the room yeah i'm excited to you know show you guys like what i got you know new and then just put some things back from last year in its place. I'm doing it right now, even though it's like the beginning of September, because next week um, I am headed to New York Fashion Week. And also, you guys, I finally caved in and got a Stanley Cup. And not only did I get this one, like this um, one from um, Hearth and Magnolia, I believe. Yeah, Hearth and Hand. Did I say Hearth and Magnolia? It's Hearth and it's Hearth and Hand. I think I said Hearth and Magnolia, but Hearth and Hand with Magnolia. But I also got this color as well. It's a limited edition color. I absolutely am in love. When I say I'm in love, like I got something in here already. 
this is 40 ounces and it has definitely been helping me with like my water intake like they're so good now they are 45 dollars probably 48 with tax they are expensive so i know you're thinking like girl you spent 90 dollars on two cups i sure did <laughs> i sure did but these this cup is the truth like when i say it's worth maybe maybe not i don't know because i never really had like you know a tumbler but this is so good like the ice be lasting for almost two days i had this cup in a car like hot car for a very long time it was hot came back took a drink i was like good lord it was so refreshing i'm gonna be filming a tiktok video as well so i'm gonna like you guys gonna see a little bit behind the scenes on that i like to get angles baby alexa play This pumpkin candle, it smells really, really nice. I got from Target as well. They have different scents and different colors. Um, I think this is like vanilla or something, so that's why it's in like this cream color. Um, but I also have like a small one that I'm gonna show you as well, just a few. But yeah, I love that. And I just love any like candle that's like in the shape of a pumpkin. I think it's like so cute. Same books that I've had up here before. Yeah, I'm holding this. <laughs> I got this also from Target. Like how cute is this? It's like a little pumpkin mug. It's nothing in it, but you know, for the vibes. For the vibes of the video. The vase is from Target. It's from the Hearth and Hand by Magnolia brand. The stems here are from Kirkland. Um, I think this little matches, set of matches are from Amazon. Little like knickknack concrete knot is from CB2, I believe. And then just within there, I just have like a little black candle set, the lighter, the clipper, and I think it's called like the smug the snuffler smuggler whatever you know what i'm trying to say so that's that for the bar area these hand towels i believe they are from target and then for this area here we still kept it very very simple because i don't have much like counter space up here so i don't want to like overload it i actually got the new magnolia volume three uh recipes for gathering um it's in this pretty like 
army green color and then i also have another magnolia table which that's volume two that i got like last year um that's there and then i just added some little knickknacks like some hot cocoa bacon powder i also like the hot cocoa being up here on the counter because like we're going into those like chillier months and i just think it's so on theme and so cute and then i finished it off with a pumpkin that i got last year i believe from target if it's still available i'll try and link it and then my um oil dispenser um everything else is pretty much the same i did not change anything at all and so i'm going to quickly go through some of the things that i got from target and kirkland it wasn't much because i really don't like to spend a lot of money for like seasonal decor because i have so much especially for fall because like it just doesn't stay up for long you know maybe a few months and then like we're heading into christmas and i really focus on christmas because like that time of the year is like really like my favorite time i got these cute pumpkin shaped mugs from target um which i'm so like here for i just got two here i cannot wait to create like some fall content let me just show you here Cannot wait to create some fall content in here. They're a pretty good size. I also got a smaller version of the candle, um, of this pumpkin candle. I don't wanna show my view, but it's like in black. And this is in the, I don't remember to go into like my office area. Um, I also got this big, expensive, might I add, candle from again the hearth in hand with magnolia brand this is like my favorite brand like every time i go on target i'm always like going to this uh section it's in the scent salted honey i'm gonna put this like on my in my uh, living room yeah, it's a big candle it is super like nice and just kind of like on theme like you know i'm just doing some like neutrals but i want it to be a little bit more dark i got three candles from kirkland's i got copper leaves and spice here smells so amazing got the mahogany woods and vanilla vanilla is like literally my favorite scent and then the last one i got is the fresh brewed coffee literally smells like coffee um so i love that and i think it'll just you know add to like you know the coziness and the cozy months everything else that i'm putting out like as far as fall decor came from my storage i probably got like last year or over the years oh i have some stuff from amazon one moment okay so first thing is these like coasters i needed some new ones and i needed more i only have like i'm down to like two coasters in my living room which is so weird marble looking ones you know some of them <clears throat> looks like plain white <clears throat> excuse me and then some of them like does have like a little design like have the marbling in them like this one doesn't have anything as you can see i also got some pillow covers but i decided to go with this like khaki color here and then i also got these like stems here i was gonna put them up here but then i saw these stems in kirkland and i was like yeah i definitely want them i might add this to the dining area because i think this will be like super cute you know what i mean like just having that just kind of like flow i don't really want much and then the last thing i want to show you is just like this little halloween tree i got from the five dollar section um in target um and this is just gonna go in my office my office is like an all black you know type theme or whatnot um so i just got it so yeah that's all that i got we're gonna move on to the living room but i'm actually gonna take like a small break take zane out and then we're gonna come back and finish up like the living room and stuff like that maybe do the bedroom but i'm about to wash my sheets so we'll see how that goes i'm about to go out but i'm gonna just pick back up in the living room I'm always trying to work it out. 
when I come through But don't nobody screaming like you I was having visions with you Doing things, switching lanes in the beam with you And swimming in deep water to save me from my sorrow Swimming in deep Just some pieces of I need So why can't I give that to me? Show me how to charge you I took my soul in out. I'm trying to let my hair breathe before I do it in a few days. I'm just gonna relax it and then just throw my like clip-ins in. Anyway, um, it is 7:13 right now. I've actually been um prepping a little bit um for New York Fashion Week. I had like all my suitcases and everything like laid out. It's Sunday, September 3rd, and I leave on September 7th. I believe I wanted to kind of show you guys like a little bit of the packing like process but my room is like an absolute mess like it's actually really 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 embarrassing and I've been trying to like straighten everything up I think I'm just gonna kind of show you guys like how I've been like prepping or like planning for New York Fashion Week I also got a bigger bag which I am so happy that I did um it's from the same brand away I feel like it's a really good bag and I I've had the, I think it has a lifetime warranty on it, I believe, but I purchased the bigger carry-on and the medium size, like maybe two years ago, and I haven't had any issues with those bags. So I purchased the large flex bag from Away, and I'm so happy I did because like I have a lot of stuff. So I'm just gonna go over quickly like what I do because I definitely need to like finish some stuff up right now. I like to use Canva to plan out my outfits. I did this in my vacation prep. Like I showed y'all a little bit behind the scenes on how I, you know, do my like outfit planning and preps, especially like if I'm going on vacation. It just helps you kind of get like a full idea of like what you're bringing and like the accessories that you can have with each item or if you can like reuse the accessories so you don't have to like bring so many accessories if that makes sense so i'm just going to kind of show you a few outfits that i was thinking about some of these are yes some of these are no i was just like kind of planning and putting it on there um i have my lights my uh what is it my vanity lights on it so you see like the lights in there just a nice little cute little way of putting everything right in front of your face this is going to be my airport look right here i've been really trying to take pride into like how i show up at the airport i know some people don't care some people want to be comfortable especially like whenever you're on a plane it's a long flight you know so forth and so on like you're not trying to look cute at the airport and i do get it girl like trust me i do but like for me this is just something that i personally want to do is just show up you know very presentable even though this is a little bit more in the dress up type of side like this outfit right here is super duper comfortable like super comfortable like if you want to sit crisscross applesauce in this you can you know what i mean if you want to sleep in this you can it's just a very nice flowy you know type set that's the type of vibe that i'm on super comfortable but still giving that elevated polished look so this is another outfit here just to kind of show you guys now some of these i may wear some of them i may not but this is like one outfit this is another outfit as you can see the same bag not sure about the shoes just yet but may change the bag but yeah this is another outfit oh, i'm obsessed with this outfit i mainly put her there for inspo i don't have this blazer here but i have a blazer that i'm gonna wear and it's gonna be similar to this but the colors are gonna be like slightly off i only got this slide here mainly for the skirt but yeah this is the type of look this one i am so sad about i actually really 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 like this fit but it's not going to be here in time so whatever this one as well not going to be here in time so whatever <laughs> And this one, oh my god, I really love this. I thought this would be like super different. Instead of an LA hat, I ordered a New York hat. I wanted these Dior burgundy shoes, but I literally had to stop myself. Like, I don't need them. I will only want this color here for this outfit. And I just had to think about it. Like, it's not worth it. So this outfit is like probably an X. I may still bring this whole fit and it may like wear some different type of shoes. But for right now, it's probably an X. <laughs> um... This was an outfit I did as well. This is not to a show, like maybe to an event or something. I'm gonna bring this skirt, it's actually at the alterations. 
and that's all that i have for right now and yeah that's all that i have for right now canva is just really nice it's just really nice to kind of plan your outfits with canva so you can just kind of have everything all in one you can like you know see what you need to add or like take away things like that some of my casual outfits that i'm just like bring in like if i'm just out and about or i'm grabbing like a cup of coffee or something like that like that's not one there anyway yeah y'all that's what i just wanted to update you guys like just to show you how i'm planning but yeah y'all i'm so tired but i gotta get this together so i'll see y'all in a little bit yeah, baby.